Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question and we're going to talk about a subject that we don't do much video about it. It's all about sound quality and I've got Kevin from Bose and we're sitting in the new Mazda 3 with an awesome sound system. You probably saw the review. You're going to be amazed when you're going to sit in one of those cars and when you're going to turn up the volume. So Kevin, um, what does make the Bose sound system here inside the Mazda so unique? So this is, yeah, like you said, it's a very unique system. It's brand new. Uh, it's called Bose Bass Match. It's a 12 speaker system and it's been completely re-engineered for this vehicle. And some of the unique things that we did from an engineering aspect is move speaker components and other components into unique places to increase the level of audio quality. So for example, in the doors where you usually have large woofers in the doors, yeah. we've taken them completely out of the doors and moved them into separate enclosures that are just beyond the kick well in the driver's side and the passenger side. So that gives you a little bit more advantage in terms of increasing the level of low frequency power that you can drive for the system. So it's really impressive and you don't have to worry about rattling and buzz coming out of the door. Yeah, because that's a problem often, even in the front doors, even in the rear doors, the more power they put there, the more vibration you get. Right. Outside, uh, everybody was looking and what kind of music this guy is listening, you know? <laughs> this was kind of strange, but now the quality the immersion, as I could say, is real impressive. Right. So, how about music quality? First of all, I often tell you guys that to get the better music quality, it's not going to be on Spotify, it's not going to be on YouTube, it's not going to be over Bluetooth, it's with real good uh, files, with some FLAC files. I don't know if you heard about them, but these are real high quality audio file to be able to enjoy this kind of sound system. Right, right. Yeah, higher quality music, higher quality file, you'll get the best results from those. Think of it as like CD quality. If you burn a CD and put it on a USB, that's always going to give you the best quality. But we know that people, you know, use their phone and stream. So the good news is the quality of streaming music is getting better. But even with those differences of quality, we've tuned the system to make sure no matter what the source is, it really does sound good. So hopefully that comes through as people start to listen to the system. But even if you use Bluetooth, will it still be good will you find a big difference when you're gonna to listen to that sound system yeah I think people will, will notice even if they're streaming on Bluetooth that it is definitely a higher quality music playback than you would get from a more conventional system back in the days the quality of the components were real important but now the technology has evolved for the components used to build great speakers right different types of components lightweight materials neodymium metal which is very lightweight but powerful so a lot of the speakers have that kind of material in them so that you can still get a lot of power from just a, a small amount of material so it's definitely something that's really improved over the years what makes a great sound experience. It really comes down to how it's ultimately tuned. You can have great speakers and great components, but our sound engineers have to get in there and tune the system to make sure it sounds great in this unique environment. You've got a lot of adjustment also inside the radio. You've got bass, you've got treble, you've mm -hmm. got mid-range often. You've got also those different kind of options to give you more feeling. What's the best tune that you can do with that with that software to get the better music? Yeah, it, it really comes down to personal preference. So for example, you can set it to a driver focus setting where it's just focused on the driver if you're driving by yourself and you yeah. just want it focused on, on you, you can do it that way. Or you can do an all seat setting where it's it's basically the same sound for, for every Every seat you can switch between stereo or our center point surround experience so stereo kind of makes it a more linear sound while the center point experience is much more immersive and surround so it really comes down to whatever your personal preference is and we encourage you to play around and, and find that sweet spot for what sounds great so Kevin is the sound experience better in the hatchback because of its shape or it's better in the sedan that we have right here it's actually very similar in both vehicles, but the only difference is in the hatchback there is an enclosure kind of in the spare tire area where we put uh, that third base source as opposed to in the sedan there's a woofer on the rear deck. But it's tuned so it, the sound experience is very similar in both vehicles. Perfect. So there you go, guys. If you enjoy music, by the way, go sit in the Mazda 3, listen to that Bose sound system, which I think when I heard it, made some major improvement in sound quality we're gonna get a big top three out of these favorite sound system here at car question 
Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Thank Any you. comments in the section down there below? Do a thumbs up because you like that video. Subscribe to Car Question, and we'll see you another time.